Hey folks, this is Vagrant clocking back in on a home safety hotline as this, this this woman approaches us from our desktop wallpaper, which is very disconcerting. Um, last time we got another 100 percenter, did very well, and we also got to see the fantastic Thunder Peak video, which had a minor foray into a terrifying, horrible monster-filled cave. So we are logging in once again. I believe this is day six, question mark. So when it's a Saturday, in on a Saturday, working overtime, probably not getting paid over time. Here we go. What nonsense is Carol going to be up to today? <laughs> I'm waiting for it to just appear as a legit eldritch monster <laughs> rather than Carol, my supervisor. My supervisor. Blum, blum, blum. That's the noise it makes. Oh, actually, I just want to do one small edit here. Um, I didn't really do any sound editing for this game. But, uh, oh, is SFX going to include, there's no, there's no, there's, where's, where's, where's voice? I'm just going to turn the music down a little bit. The music's a little bit intense compared to everything else. I just want voice on its own. But I think voice probably included in SFX. All right, here we go. Will we get our last entries? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten left. I'd imagine... I think there's one more day after this, though, so maybe we get five today and five tomorrow. <sighs> Come on, Kazva. Where you at, girl? <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, there we go. It's getting a little nervous. Park employee, lend thine ear once more. Supervisor Carol here again. I've updated thy permissions to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. <laughs> I've only been here six days, Carol. It's too early to be saying hark and to prepare my body for the soil. It's just not on, Carol. It's not on at all. Right, let's check out. I think I maybe did just get all of them. Yeah, I did. Right, so we've got 10 to read before we get started today. <clears throat> Here we go. Autumn vines are vines with orange or red leaves that are known to slowly grow over a house, frequently occurring during the fall. Homeowners with autumn vines often report feeling dizzy, lightheaded, or blissful. The pheromones autumn vines release in the air, while not toxic, can often cause household accidents thanks to their blissful, dizzying effects. To remove autumn vines from a household, Locate where the initial growth is coming from by inspecting the soil around the home for an extended red parent vine. Pull this vine out by the roots and burn it. Prevent autumn vine growth by making regular offerings of insects or meat substance to the ones beneath the soil. Bed hag. That's my nickname in college. Bed hags are large humanoid creatures with an elderly woman-like appearance. They are no... Oh, God. <laughs> they are, wait, let me just... Yep. They are known to dwell beneath beds, hammocks, and other suspended sleeping apparatus. Homeowners infested with bed hags will sometimes report croaking or wheezing sounds at night, or the feeling of a heavy weight on their chest at night. Bed hags are not dangerous to most healthy human adults, but small children and humans suffering from breathing problems such as asthma may be adversely affected by their presence. Bed hags are known to steal the breath of their sleeping subjects at night, causing a shortness of breath and sometimes sleep paralysis. Bed hags can in fact be beneficial to a home, as their presence can frighten off other pests such as various insects or mice. In the cases where a bed hag is undesirable, it is advised to utilize HSH's pest removal services. I'll go quick. Dorcha! Go Dorcha, go. Ooh, Dorcha's a creepy ass shadow. Dorcha is the one who delivers. Oh god. Homeowners experiencing Dorcha commonly report feelings of immense dread and the sensation of being followed or pursued. They may also experience visions of a great lurking shadow. Dorcha will deliver that which it seeks. There is no coming back from deliverance. Dorcha is otherwise harmless to humans it does not seek. To be sought by Dorcha is to be found by Dorcha. If you are a loved one or sought by Dorcha, advise to grieve and find peace through acceptance. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Leprechaun. Some kind of animal has gotten into my cellar. I know it's down there because I can hear it flapping around sometimes when the house is quiet. Tell me what to do to get rid of this thing because I think it's getting into all my Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. I found a whole bunch of broken bottles on the floor. Stupid thing is probably getting loaded. <laughs> well, we know what that is, which is good because it means we can ignore it for a minute and. Uh... <clears throat> Look at that leprechaun, what the heck? Ugh. 
Ah, it's like something out of The Witch or something. Leprechauns are small humanoids covered in long brown hair that are known for consuming common household valuables such as jewellery, silverware and other precious metals. In addition, in addition to being a household nuisance, Leprechaun's appetite for precious metals can also cause long-term damage to heaters, furnaces and other common appliances if they're not properly protected. Additionally, leprechauns can occasionally cause direct harm to humans in cases where homeowners have metallic medical implants such as braces, crowns or joint replacements. <laughs> Imagine you wake up in the night and the leprechaun is eating the braces off your teeth. Ugh. Leprechauns will move on to other feeding grounds on their own once they've run out of food, but more proactive means of removal require physical capture. If immediate removal is desired, recommend to utilize professional help via HSH's pest control services or indeed call Charlie. Charlie can catch a leprechaun, as we have seen. A neighbor's doorway. Door frame like structures that can often appear in basements or cellars, known to cause confusion if stepped through, step through, so as parallelism, parallelism <laughs> parallelograms. Neighbors' doorways do not cause direct harm, but if stepped through, the resulting parallelism will often result in unwanted household activity, such as altered behavior or perceived missing memories in humans who come through the other side. Neighbors' doorways are tricky to remove without accidentally putting one's body through them and potentially triggering the parallel activity. Advice to utilize the doorway removal services. One can prevent neighbors' doorways from occurring by practicing mindfulness and not letting one's mind wander towards wishing for alternate life paths. Puka! Hello, Puka! Oh wait, Pukas, Puka looked cute for a second and now sounds terrifying. Pukas are shapeless creatures that commonly inhabit homes in the shape and likeness of a household pet. They're known for their tendency to replace common pets such as dogs or cats and live in the place to watch homeowners eat and sleep. Homeowners with Pukas frequently report unusual or frightening pet behaviour. Pukas are relatively harmless to humans, but the discarded bodies of household pets they leave behind can over time create other pests and disease hazards within the home. A foul smell signifies decay, and the discarded body should be found or removed immediately. <clears throat> Pukas can be encouraged to leave a home by not drawing attention to their activities. Pukas thrive on the attention they receive from frightened homeowners, so refrain from screaming or yelling when surprised by them, and make attempts to ignore their presence wherever possible. He just like me for real, for real. Reanim- oh god. It's just a skeleton, man. Reanimations are any deceased remains of living creatures capable of moving on their own. Homeowners with reanimations commonly report foul smells, soil being trapped inside, and large holes in the ground appearing near or around the home. Reanimations are capable of spreading a wide variety of dangerous diseases and parasites deadly to humans, so close proximity or contact should be avoided at all costs. They're also commonly used to inflict direct violence against homeowners or are incredibly adept at hiding and waiting for vulnerable moments. Reanimation's pursuit is slow but relentless, so relocation is not necessary or advisable. Advice to contact friends, neighbours or strangers the homeowner may have recently slighted and make peace or bargain. So it's like a purpose- Hey, it's the Spriggan! Like a purposely done thing. Where, where's the Spriggan? <laughs> Lovely. Jeez. Spriggans are small green humanoids with leaf-like coatings on their bodies. They are seen rarely in households and reside primarily inside trees. They are known to act violently upon homeowners when provoked. However, homeowners affected by spriggans commonly report rapid vine growth in and around their homes and the feeling the trees are watching them. Now, we already had that with the sprig vines, so how do we differentiate? How do we know we've got vines? How do we know we've got a spriggan? You know what I mean? <clears throat> hmm. Spriggans are incredibly dangerous to humans when provoked, and physical contact with one will result in the growth of a sprig tree within the infected individual, which we saw and it was horrifying. <laughs> Spriggans cannot be persuaded to leave the home once provoked, however one can take precautions to prevent provoking a spriggan. Refrain from moving flowers, trees or weeds on property. Do not ever kill or hunt wildlife within view of your home. Do not eat wild fruit or vegetables that may grow on your property. Consider making offerings of water each night left in a clean dish on your porch. We've got two left to do. Troll! Jeez. Trolls are giant 12 foot tall nocturnal creatures normally not seen inside the home. However, during the winter they'll deflate their bodies in order to fit inside homes and steal warm materials such as blankets or articles of clothing. Homeowners infested with a troll will frequently report missing clothes or claim to hear the shrill sounds of air escaping in the middle of the night. 
Trolls are very dangerous to humans when they're startled, thanks to their ability to inflate their bodies to the full height of 12 feet in a matter of seconds. Their skin, despite its flexibility, is incredibly durable and will smash through the ceilings of most homes when fully inflated, causing property damage and injury to anyone in the vicinity. Do not ever approach a troll. An active troll will leave by morning once it's secured its bounty. Recommended to install repelling fixtures such as UV lights to prevent future break-ins. And our final creature, the war oh god, <laughs> the warlock remnant. <clears throat> <sighs> warlock remnants are a residual presence often left behind by former warlocks, most commonly inhabiting older households, castles, or underground dwellings. Homeowners experiencing warlock remnants often report objects moving on their own, the sound of hostile warning whispers, or sighting bearded figures in reflective surfaces. Warlock remnants, while a hostile presence, are mere echoes of their former selves and are generally harmless. Their ability to manipulate small household objects can prove hazardous to less cautious homeowners, however. Solution! Homeowners can purge the remnant from their home with the use of a Sealy Stone, but the journey to retrieve one is long and perilous and not recommended. If a warlock remnant proves sufficiently hazardous or inconvenient, it's highly recommended for homeowners to simply relocate. And I've got to assume this is a Wine Sprite. She mentioned cellar, which I think is a little bit of a, a bait in that, you know, you're meant to think, well, maybe it's a cellar growth or something like that. But what do people store in their cellar? People have wine cellars, right? And it's getting into a Chardonnay, so <laughs> it must be. So autumn vines, uh, we've got two different vine ones. So we've got to keep an eye on the color. The sound hasn't been that important so far. I think it's been okay to differentiate without sound till this point. Door to my office since my kids are overly curious about the smell, so I need to know what to do about this as soon as possible. Is that wood secretions? Please hold. Please hold. Oh, there's a desk. Pink viscous liquid substance sometimes formed from wood that has been mistreated. It drips from wooden materials, causing a sticky buildup. Wood secretions can be deadly to humans, causing rapid translation of flesh if ingested. That's such a terrifying sentence. Keep animals and human children away from secretions at all costs, as its foul odour will be interpreted as a sweet candy-like smell to them, making them particularly susceptible to accidental ingestion. Ingestion. Blah, 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 blah. Once started, wood secretions will continue indefinitely. To remove the hazard from a home, the offending wood should be replaced entirely. To prevent wood from entering secretion stage, ensure good care is taken towards the wood. Refrain from scratching, knocking, or banging. Don't insult the wood. Yes, we remember this one. Wood secretions. It's gotta be, right? It's, it's wood. It's leaking. It's luring the children. It's leaking and it's luring the children. <laughs> it's not a sentence I ever want to say again, if you don't mind. No, no. Let's look at something pretty. No. No. They're all terrifying. I think there's someone watching me. Outside. Something is moving around in the trees, and I can never get a good look at them, but I know they're out there. I've seen their eyes. I don't know who they are, but the police were no help. They just asked me stupid questions like if I mowed my lawn recently, or if I ate fruit in public or something, and told me to call you. Hoping you'll be more helpful. I'm afraid I would have the exact same questions, Howard, my good friend. Please, Howard. I'm not even going to think about this. Knocking these out. Bingo, bango. Where's my spriggan? I wondered how we were going to differentiate, but of course it's living in the trees and it's getting annoyed by the fact that people are killing the, the nature, the flora, as, as it is wont to do. What do I remember spriggans from? Oh, spriggans were brutal in um, Oblivion, I think. They were tall plant boys. Oh, they were in Skyrim as well. They used to cast nature magic at you. Bird hack, baby bird hack. Oh god, she looks like a mole person. Oh god, bird hack, no! My brother told me to call this number, but I don't know why. Things have never been better around here. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves move. The way they grow around the house like a warm embrace. Things are good here. Brother, things are good. Would you tell my brother that things are good? I don't think I will, Jay. Things don't sound good. Now, see, that could be two things. We have to differentiate 
It's vines growing over the house, but is it autumn vines or is it the spriggan vines? So I think the fact that she is loving it is probably the differentiating factor here. Please, oh. Let's have a look. Autumn vines, do you do anything to make people happier? Yeah, see, blissful. She's she's dizzy, she's lightheaded, she's blissful. That's making me think autumn vines for sure. And they release pheromones. Yeah, it's got to be autumn vines, right? Let's check the sprig vines just in case. No, and we just had a spriggan, and there's no sense there that they do any of that stuff, so autumn vines it is. I've had to play through this game across like two or three days max, because I figure if I wait too long between videos, if I waited like a week, I'd be doomed. <laughs> I'd have to go back and read all of them again to have any hope of making it through. Hi. Do you know how I got here? I'm... I'm not where I should be. Please, I was told that you could help me. My family. They aren't my family. I, I don't know what's happened. Please tell me how to get back to my family. Intr oh, intr I told Hmm. <laughs> Do you know I got here? I'm not where I should be. I told you you can help me with family. They aren't my family. Please, hold. Is it the door? What's the door called? I can't remember what the door's called. What was the door called? Neighbor's doorway. Let me just have a look at this one. Uh, they cause confusion as well. Uh, Didn't I say there was not parallelism? Altered behavior, perceived missing memories in a human who come through the other side. That's definitely the best one I can think of. She's she's somewhere. She's stepped through and she's in like an it's a parallel world, right? And I don't think it's actually a parallel world, but it makes you think you're in a parallel world where everything is right but slightly different. It's still her family. She's saying my family, they aren't my family. So I think it is her family, but she can tell that something's off. I don't think it's a mirror nymph or a memory wisp, which should both also be relevant. I don't think I don't think it's that. I'm, I'm leaning towards neighbor's doorway on this. Um, I don't think it's a portal. Uh, I can't think of anything else it would be. I'm trying to think of one that has like memory effects. You know what I mean? Well, you probably do know what I mean. <laughs> uh, one that would one. It has to be something that she hasn't seemingly seen anything. You know what I mean? No, there's no monsters, there's no remnants of anything around. It's just a doorway that she inadvertently walked through. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Neighbor's doorway. This is the first one I'm not... I'm iffy on this one. I think that's the best guess I've got, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, closet labyrinth. You're so much nicer looking than the others. <laughs> mice, let's look at the pretty mouse. Some of you will look at the mouse and go, ah, well, mice are cute. You have pet rats. Never had a pet mouse. Always had pet rats. <laughs> Mice are small, worthless rodents. <laughs> uh. Hi. Yeah, there's this awful smell of rotten eggs coming from my dining room. And when I looked to see what it was, I saw this awful, disgusting pile of crap on my dinner table. It's quite big, too which has me worried that whatever produced this might still be in the house. Because who knows how big this thing is. I mean, my dog can't even lay down something that big. Hmm. Please hold. Huh. Now, there's two ways to think about that. Did something defecate on her dining room table? Or, let me just check Fay Feast. Which is on the dining room table. But that's just fairies edible. And it doesn't mention anything about smell or anything like that. So I don't think it's the Fay Feast. Does anything else defecate that I'm wondering? It's not Dorcha. <laughs> it's never Dorcha, hopefully. Uh, Bogart, no. Is that noise coming from my real life, or is it coming from the game? Because I, I can hear some muffling in the distance. It's terrifying me. It's not a troll. It's not a troll, is it? 
No. Right, we're just gonna go through this one by one. <clears throat> it's not an animation, it's not an attic gnome. I mean, is it this is the thing, like it's not specific. It's it's not easy to tell. It's not gonna be that, it's not gonna be that, it's not gonna be that, it's not gonna be that. It's, be that. it's, it's probably not gonna be a bed house. It's not bed it's not black mold, it's not a bug house, it's not I mean Faith Feast is the best one I've got so far. I don't think it is, but it's the best one I've got so far. I don't think it's any of these up till this point. Could it be the horde? No. I mean, is she, she says pile of crap. Does she mean actual feces? Is the question. I don't think it's the horde. It's been the horde before. House fires, house fly, house spider, kobold. What do you do, kobold? Mm. No. Leprechaun. I really don't know in this one. No, that's precious metals. Memorous mass moon of my stolen. Oh yeah. I mean it could be the Puka. There's no mention. I mean what I wonder if the, the pile is the dog. I mean she has a dog. That's gotta be important, right? And there's a foul smell, I think. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it is. Maybe it's her dog, <laughs> and and it's been consumed, and it's in the pile of feces, basically. Okay, Puka is Puka is now winning for me. God, I have to say some weird things playing this game. It's not going to be every animation. Seedling, soap, sprite, spriggan, spritry. No, 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 no. Toilet hob, trash. No, no, probably not. I th I think it's the Puka. Mm. No, okay, I'm going. I'm going Puka. I, this is the worst one so far, but I think it makes the most sense for what we've seen. I think there's always going to be a little bit of guesswork here, obviously. But I'm doing the best I can. Okay, I'm trying. I just want you all to be proud of me. I want me to be proud of me. I want to help people. That's why I got into this line of work. It wasn't for the money. It's to help people. It was to save lives. Hey, yeah, Paul here. Hey, Paul. Um, I'm not sure what to do anymore. Uh, my kids can't sleep at night. I've been spraying about 50 different kinds of pesticides all over the place, washed and scrubbed all the bed sheets as much as frickin' possible. And every night it's the same story. Bunch of itchy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. and begging to sleep in Papa's bed. I'm fresh out of ideas. You know, that could just be bed bugs. Um, but my, my first thought was the the Dreamweaver thing, Majiggy. Itchy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. Let me have a look at the Dreamweaver. Uh, it's just not quite a da 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 It doesn't scream Dreamweaver to me. Why would the kids be itchy? And surely you would see the, the webs, right? The kids only dream about being covered in webs. Parasitic in nature, feed of the dreams of humans. While this does not cause direct harm, it can lead to increased anxiety. That's kind of itchy. I don't think it's this. That was my first thought, but I don't think it is. What if it is just straight up bed bugs? Small insects known for feeding on blood of humans, blah, blah, blah. Sleeping areas, itchiness, rashes. I, I, what about. Wait, let's find the other bed things. Bed hag. Itchy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. No, it's not going to be that. They're itchy. Itchy is the key word, and that's why I'm leaning bed bugs. It's already been bed teeth. And we've not got the other facets of bed teeth here. Now, he has been spraying, he's, he's spraying pesticides. That, that's what makes me nervous. Like he's been spraying pesticides and yet they're still itchy. They're still struggling. 
Oh, this is a tough one. Um, I think he would. He's been. He's been washing and stuff with the beds, so I think you would see bed teeth. I think the Dreamweaver, you would see the webs, right? They, they report seeing a large web say weave can trap dust. Yeah, you would. You would see large webs. I really think it might be bed bugs, and they're throwing like a fairly basic one at us to like confuse us a little bit. Housefly? No. What about laundry gnome in the beds? No. Hmm. I'm thinking bad bugs. Ticks? More likely in the garden. Yeah. I think we did ticks, didn't we? I'm gonna go bad bugs. As I want to do. As I often do. Hmm. I was having a beverage. Can I have a beverage at work? What if someone rang me while I was moved beverage? I guess I am at work, technically. <laughs> oh, my throat is still killing me. I can feel it. My Adam's apple. It's not an Adam's apple anymore. It's like an Adam's boulder or something. Vagrant's boulder. Okay. Do you want to explain to me what the hell is happening? I called last week to ask why my home heater has been having issues, and nothing's changed after following the instructions you sent me. <sighs> Be quiet. I know your teeth hurt, but Daddy's on the phone right now. Anyway, we're still freezing our butts off over here, so tell me what the hell is happening right now so I can get this fixed properly. Hmm. You know what's interesting? So, we haven't had a phone call from the false face... Man. <laughs> uh, right, okay. So, mess with the heating. The baby's crying. Now, he thinks it's because of their teeth. Is it necessary? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. It's the, um, I know, it's a leprechaun, isn't it? It's taken... Well, would the baby have a crown or braces? But it does, it specifically mentions heaters, right? The heater isn't working. The baby's crying because it's it's gotta it's gotta be the leprechaun. Maybe the baby has a fake teeth. <laughs> it seems a bit young to have fake teeth, but I just I can't imagine it's not a leprechaun. I really every now and again I hear this like muffled whispering noise, and I every time I take my headset off to see if I can hear it because stupidly I take my headset off and I'd hear it elsewhere in the house, but by the time I get, I think to do that and I get my headset off, the noise has stopped. So I still can't tell <laughs> if it's in my house or if it's in the game, but it's very disconcerting either way. I think it's in the house. Not sure that's a positive. I think some pranksters might be giving my wife and I a run for our money. <sighs> Lately, my wife's clothes have started going missing and at night I keep hearing this strange will be cushion type sound coming from outside I, I tried to scare the kids off by keeping the porch lights on at night and putting out a neighborhood watch sign but I, I think they're onto my tricks do you have any advice you can send me <sighs> don't know what this is off the top of my head I'm really hoping this is not one where we lose access thank god for that um, it's not this one. I, I remember reading one about clothes going missing, which would suggest that I read it today. Whoopee cushion noise. And... Uh, ba, 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 ba. Whoopee cushion noise. It could be. Missing clothes, sounds of distant cries. I'm not sure that would line up with the whoopee cushion noise. He does look posh. He looks a little. Ro Yo, Edward. Edward is off good means, so he would kind of fit with the closet labyrinth. Uh, whoopee cushion sound coming from outside. That doesn't work, does it? Really, that doesn't make sense to me. Why would this be outside? It would be in the closet. Yeah, so it's not this. Okay, it's got to be something else. Hmm. 
Don't know about this one. I, I, it's in the it's in the back of my head though. It's not the daughter. I hope it's never the daughter. <laughs> That's the only one I want it to never be the daughter. I don't want to tell that person they're just dead. Um, they're definitely getting harder. These. It's not the laundry gnome. No matter how many times I click on it. <clears throat> No other night gnome. No, you watch, don't you? You're a watcher. The voyeur. Night wisp, pipe grove, pipe park, pico, portal, the cooling. They take cloves? No. Just the fungi. Steel clothing? <laughs> no. I actually. I, I don't know what this one is. Oh, no. That, that whoopee cushion noise from outside has really, really thrown me for a loop here. No. No, 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 no. Right, we, we, we're going to have to just go through these. I'm hoping this lasts forever. I can just keep them on hold for half an hour. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. I don't think it's the bog art. No, 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 no. Closet Labyrinth is the best guess I've got so far, but it's not a good guess. No. Something that's outside and yet stealing the clothes. I think some pranks just might be giving my wife and I a little bit clothes start to go missing. I had no I this one's really thrown me for a loop. This is very disconcerting. It's not a torture, it's not a dreamweaver, it's not a faith feast, it's not a faith flu, it's not a false artifact, it's not a false beat, it's not a false flower, it's not a false rose bush, it's not floor roots, it's not a fracture hob, probably, right? <sighs> da, 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 da. It's not a fracture hob. It's not a frozen pipe, it's not a gopher. It's not a horde, it's not house fires, it's not house fly, it's not a spider, it's not a kobold, I don't think. No, it's not a lamp sprite. It's probably not a laundry gnome. Doesn't really stack up with what we've heard. It's not a leprechaun again. No, not a memory wisp. Not mice. Not a memory nymph. Not an old. Not a neighbor's doorway. Not a night gnome. They just watch, right? Let me just double check. Night wisp. Guys, oh no, I'm in trouble here. I really, I really don't know what this is. I really don't know. I'm at the bottom nearly and none of these make sense to me. Could it be a troll? There's a whistling noise. Yes, yes, it is. It is. It is. It is. It's a troll. 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 Air escaping, middle of the night, of course. And it's they go for warm items. Must be must be winter. It is. It's well, it's September anyway, so it's it's nearly winter. Oh, thank God for that. That one had me going. Oh, God. I mean, look, in retrospect, it's pretty obvious, given the, the inflating and deflating noises, but it just, just completely blanked from my mind. Whew. Although, not good that they've got a troll. <laughs> and I thought I would call just in case you might know what's going on. I was recently putting on my kettle for a bit of afternoon Earl Grey when I heard this awful buzzing sound coming from the cupboard. I looked around inside, but I couldn't find anything but a few loose tea leaves. I'm quite concerned about the hornets and the bees and the like because I'm... <laughs> 
I'm quite allergic to their stings, you know. So I just wanted to know if there's anything I should be worried about right now. My hearing isn't what it used to be, after all. She's very sing songy, isn't she? I assume that's a tea spray. Mm. Ah, well, I'm gonna go tea spray. <laughs> Look, there's tea, there's a buzzy noise, it's a tea spray. Hold music was getting a little disconcerting there. It was just. Dun, dun, dun. Ah! Lovely. Was that like a sucking noise? Like sucking the tea? Oh, it was horrible, everyone. Like... Ah! Hi, I'm Jessica. Hello, Jessica. Hi, we need some medical help. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what to say since I talked to our family practitioner already, but he said to call here, so. We've been um, having some trouble sleeping. I thought it was just me, but both my husband and I started feeling shortness of breath around the same time. I'm worried about something spreading through our house since our kids all have asthma and some particularly severe allergies. We tried washing all the bed sheets in the house, but that didn't really help much. Thankfully, the kids haven't had any issues yet, so could you help us out sooner rather than later? Please hold. Oh, oh yeah, well. We can't click any, so I'm gonna assume that is a bed hack. Boop. No point sitting here thinking about it, really. <clears throat> Considering I'm not that <laughs> cursed network area. I mean, surely, get your network in place, guys, you know? Sort of you. Please, Please tell me I've got the network back because I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, that's like that's bizarre. That's like a singing noise. Now we did have. Oh, was it the whistling fun guy? Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. The noise is way too similar. It's coming from the walls. You hear them singing it. I heard the mumble again. <laughs> Bear with me, I'm just gonna take my headset off for a sec. There are other people in the house, so I'm not too disconcerted. But then again, this house is a bungalow, right? It doesn't have an upstairs, and I often hear people walking around upstairs. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's a thing. I used the pipes and such, but um, sometimes it really sounds like someone is just walking around on the upper floor that doesn't exist. Oh, does it? Maybe it's a Doctor Who situation. The pile keeps growing. Tell me how to get rid of it. The instructions you said didn't work and it smells so foul. I'm hearing angry voices coming from the walls. They keep telling me to eat it. Please, I don't want to eat it. Don't make me eat Oh, I was wrong. Wait, so it was the... I, I, I don't think her description fit the food feast. up lately. I can oh. hardly blame him. It smells so terribly rotten. Please, can you help? Please. Hold. This is the bloody one that I had for the ah, oh, guaranteed incorrect. Well, this is the um man. I'm really annoyed. It's on such a good street. This is the puka. Hey, the way she described it did not fit a fae feast for me. Oh, that was terrifying, by the way. Like, I'm glad we heard that. The noises in the wall yelling at her to consume it. But she, the way she described it, like something that her an animal could have le left behind. It, it's flour and cornmeal shawl and fungi. Surely you would recognize that. Like, I know it was on the dining room table, which is why I thought fae feast. But the way she described it did not make me think fae feast at all. That's not on me. I've decided. Please not another. Okay, hey Flipper. 
dolphin reference. <laughs> right, I, I think we may do at least 10, though. So as long as I only get one... Yes, 92%. So we did 11, and we got 10 out of 11. Is that maths? That's maths. Oh, that's the one one. I got, that's the one I got wrong. And I will say, I think that's a little harsh. And then again, you'd probably recognize your dead dog lying on the kitchen table. <laughs> so, whatever. But either way, we get a coupon! I'm more nervous to see this woman in the middle than anything else. I don't, I don't want to look right now. I actually want to look elsewhere. <laughs> How close is she going to be to my screen right now? Undersoil check complete. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> she's dig she's returning to the earth. Congratulations! We're happy to report. Most pleased with your labor. Currently making all the necessary preparations for your impending dissension. Assuming you passed the trial. The soil is fertile. Keep up the great work. Thanks for working through the weekend. Hi, Rosie Daily. Glamour stone. Whether you're simply too tired to concentrate or you want to look your best without the stress, our glamour stones are here to put you at ease. With our patented protective seal... Our Glamour Stones have 99.9% .9 reliability rating. Use your coupon code WAMGLAM. Thank you, ma'am. So a Glamour is something that makes you look like someone else, right? There's Glamours in, um... What's it called? That Telltale game, the wolf one. The Wolf Among Us. People use Glamours to, to look like something else. Okay. Am I meant to clock in for another day? Yeah, so that was Saturday. So there's one day left, Sunday. And if we pass and we do good enough, we get to descend into the earth. Is that good? <laughs> I don't know, but it's what we're doing. I'll see you then. Thanks for joining me. Cheers much of us always. Bye-bye.